This video is brought to you by our friends at joinyaa.com. If you're looking for some great car buying advice, joinyaa.com. And of course, our friends at BF Goodrich Tires, who provided the most excellent tires that we're about to swap out on these old trucks. Previously on Go Big. Uh, all right, Tommy. Um, it, it's a little steep, so what's the plan? Are you going to use momentum? Are you going to use the innate ability of the Suburban to get you up <laughs> this steep and icy hill i'm gonna take it nice and slow and easy okay and then when that doesn't work pedal to the middle I'm crawling my way up feels pretty good starting to lose some grip all right that's okay all right here he comes, here he comes. He's, he's, gonna, right. he's gonna he's got momentum Go yeah he, he's so. going high speed Use the Come on. Hey guys, we got moose ahead of us, two of them. Nathan, go, go get them. Did you know moose kill more people in Colorado uh, than uh, bears? Hey guys, welcome to this next episode of Going Big where we bought three big ass American SUVs and we're turning them into budget overlanders. But the thing about these SUVs is that they also have to tow. Isn't that right, Andre? Correct. They have big V8 engines and they should tow quite a bit. So in this episode, we're gonna do something quite interesting and quite fun Nathan we're gonna do a tow off and it's best to do it with mine which is a v10 bud not a v8 and we're gonna make sure that we have a proper load so we have a massive trailer So Roman, how are we gonna figure out which is the best towing rig? Well, that's simple. Part of towing is merging onto the freeway. Yeah. And part of merging onto the freeway, doing it safely, is doing it quickly, Nathan. Oh, acceleration! Yep, so we're gonna use a Solo DL to do a zero to 60 towing on all three of these. And the fastest truck wins. Yeah, but there's a problem. What's that? Where's Tommy? This is Tommy, I'm Tommy, look, Tommy. What? Yeah, yeah, Tommy is unfortunately not available for this episode, so you guys get me, so I get to drive his Suburban. This is gonna be interesting because I predict transmissions will explode, axles will, will break, because we're doing acceleration with 7,000 pounds. I, I, I'm fine, <laughs> me 10. For this episode, we're towing this, the brand new Black Series HQ19, Overland heavy duty trailer. It has a galvanized steel frame, independent suspension, truck tires. It's capable of hauling about 3,000 pounds, but right here, right now, it weighs 7,000 pounds, which should be within the capability of all three of these SUVs. Go in peace, okay? Because I don't know if we'll ever stop. <laughs> Thanks, Andre. Go in peace. No, I appreciate that. Good coach. Okay. All right, Nathan, go for it, dude. Any guesses? Hey, can you uh, shut the hatch again? It says one of the doors is ajar. I say they're all doors, but it says one of them's ajar. Okay, apparently the door is a jar. The excursion though is the benchmark for towing here because it has a heavy duty chassis from a Ford Super Duty and it's rated upwards of 10,000 pounds of maximum towing when properly equipped. Two inch receiver of course and trailer wiring connections. You guys ever wanted a Viper mixed with a truck? You've got it right here because I have a Triton V10. Okay, that's kind of wrong with... Anyway, the point is, is that this puts out 310 horsepower and it tows the most out of all of these vehicles. Most importantly though, I'll be driving. Right, so $8,000, which I think is a bargain because this thing runs really good. It's not perfect, but so what? 
Okay, and um, <laughs> zero to sixty. Okay, so in a seven thousand pound trailer, I'm gonna give a little bit of juice, maybe a little bit more, and away we go. Yeah, I think nine out of ten cylinders are really happy. Come on, girl. Hasn't? Oh, that was an interesting shift. Okay, 50. I don't know if we're gonna make 60. And 60. Uh, 26.57. 26.57. 26? Is that even possible? Wow. Imagine merging out of the highway in 26. <laughs> 57. <laughs> That's pretty slow. Oh yeah, there was no problem. I wasn't stressing the brakes or anything. All Look right. at this beast coming. Well, congratulations. Let me show the... Yeah, we got 26.57. Can you see that? Can you dig what I am laying down? Hey, this is a truck, Nathan. This was built to tow. The GMC Suburban for 1999 can tow up to about 7,500 pounds. And it also has a two inch receiver and it has a longer wheelbase than the Escalade, which may make it a little bit more smooth. We'll see. When this Suburban was new back in 1999, it put out, get this, 255 horsepower from this Vortec. Now, of course, who knows? I'm guessing if it's putting out 200 horsepower after 200,000 miles, I'll be lucky. But you know what? It's a GMC and it's a General Motors and it's built to last and it's tough like a rock and I think I'm gonna struggle to get the 60. Yeah, for sure. So the good news about Tommy's truck was that it was the cheapest of the three. He paid uh, just $4,000 for the Suburban, which, uh, you know, seems like a bargain compared to Nathan's $8,000 Ford and Andre's $6,000 Cadillac. Ladies and gentlemen, the proxy stuntman for Tommy, Roman Micah. Wow, look at him go. All right, gentlemen, are you ready for this magnificent beast to show you how it's done? So Roman, do you think 26 seconds is possible? No. <laughs> I think 36 is. <laughs> All right, good luck, dude. All right, thanks. He's pessimistic. He's pessimistic, okay. He's being pessimistic. Three, two, one, and I'm just flooring it. Come on, the Vortec. Well, uh, it's leisurely. You could probably, uh, you know, if you were quick enough, have a McDonald's meal. Uh, there goes my first shift. I am floored. Come on, that's 50. I'm running out of runway. I think I can make 60. Maybe. I'm at 60. And I am breaking. I am breaking hard. What do you think are his chances of surviving this test? Uh, he's like a cockroach. He'll survive. It's not. It's that's not a question. The question is, time. Uh, I just want to make sure this the vehicle survives. We still have a trip to do. True. We still have to go to Moab, which is like 350 miles. Right. And Tommy's going to be driving that thing. So whatever's left of it after Romans abused it, yeah. that's to on Tommy. So I feel sorry for him a little. So that wasn't bad. The shifts were a little leisurely, uh, but uh, you know, the vehicle did it. And uh, uh, my heart's a little poundy as <laughs> I was running out of runway. But uh, good job, Suburban. May not be the quickest, 
but you did it with style and you did it with grace. All right, gentlemen, I made it. Okay, would you read us the time? Zero? 30 seconds. Wow! I won. So 30.67. Okay, so you're about 10 seconds slower than the four. That is true, but I did it in style and grace, Nathan. This just was a magnificent beast pulling that much weight. We were actually waiting for the door to fall off as we were driving, but it didn't happen. <laughs> I was wondering if I smashed through that, like, you know, barrier at the end, what would happen? Well, maybe Andre can find out. Yes, it is his turn now. So let's see how the caddy compares to, uh, to this big old uh, GMC. You know, you might be fastest, which really angers me. Yeah. Because you got the 6 liter, and you and I both know that works really well. Yeah. But you also have the all-wheel drive system. Yeah. And it's could slow me down. Right. But but I also have air suspension in the back to level me out. Who cares about that? You're just going straight. It doesn't matter. I'm starting the Cadillac. I am starting my air suspension. It's gonna lift up. I've got my solo DL, I've got the, my tow hole mode right there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I've got, actually, I put premium fuel this morning into the caddy, which means I should have most power available. Last time I checked, I think Nathan's transmission was shifting weird. Roman's or Tommy's GMC Suburban is just weak. This is the might. It's six liters of V8, heavy duty engine, 345 horsepower, lots of torque, four speed automatic. This is proper luxurious and also heavy duty powertrain. I think I might win this. When properly equipped, it can tow upwards of 7,800 pounds and I do have seven pin connection here for the trailer. Are you guys ready for this? This is going to be spectacular. <laughs> nice, at least something is working. Okay, I'm, I'm ready to launch. I'm going to brake torque it just a little. Wow, it's still slowish. Now the power is building. Transmission is still smooth as silk. Come on, you can go, you can do it. You can do it, you can do it. Yes. So for me that last uh, 10 miles an hour was terrifying. Yeah. I was only scared because I didn't know whether or not the brakes, brakes would finish the job. Yeah. So I was easing into it and then it was fine. I was scared because I was about to go through the barrier. <laughs> yeah, but your door, you could just push and it the door will fly out. out and you could hop out. Yeah, and I get run over by the Black Series. <laughs> knowing my luck. Yeah, but as long as it's on camera, we're good. I didn't want to brake torque it too much and completely detonate something, but 24.28. I got Nathan, but only by two seconds. I am a little bit upset by that. I thought this was crushing. Yeah, we're here. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, you know how uh, James May is Captain Slow? Yeah. Andre is going to be uh, Admiral Methodical. Yeah, but he's the fastest, so why, I mean... Yeah, no, he, but it took him the longest to get... Set know, up, up and, and yeah, yeah, he yeah. had to scrub things. Yeah, and Admiral sure. Methodical, yeah. yeah. That's Andre. People just call me a-hole. So technically, I think with the tow-hole mode, the air suspension, really, uh, the Escalade 
it's a really great towing rig actually that's super irritating everything works on this thing <laughs> yeah so when you took off yes. your front end did one of these things where the wheels were coming in you look like a 1963 butt your Volkswagen bug, did you know, they, from like, the back. Lean forward? You pulled up and your butt dropped, and your front end did this. Yeah. But yeah. you took off like a bat out of hell by comparison. And you lifted the uh, butt out of the air, you know, so you got the chains. Something up. is smelling though. A little bit of oil. Uh, what? Do you smell that? What? Are you surprised? Is there is something dripping underneath. No. No, nothing's dripping. I mean, I'm not gonna look, but no. No, nothing's dripping under It's all good. It's just a little bit. Okay, it's well. Hard. Yeah, so that's, that's about it. And it's still comfortable, and they actually, transmission is shifting smoothly. And your air suspension worked. It took a while, but it did it. Yeah. I hate you. Some fans may be disappointed, but actually, I'm not that surprised. It was not surprising at all. I was not surprised whatsoever. <laughs> I was surprised that she made it to 60. <laughs> all right, so coming up in the next episode, is when we actually take these bad boys to Moab. So gentlemen, now it's time to put some new tires on and do a little bit of work so that we can actually turn these into budget overlanders. And I have a few surprises for next episode as well. I can't wait. And, and I think next time uh, Tom will be back and I'll be, uh, I'll be just doing support in the, uh, maybe TRX I'll bring. You guys can have these and I'll, I'll bring our TRX and you guys have fun in those. Are you gonna bring the Black Series to Moab? No, 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 you guys <laughs> tow it. No. What? It's a really bad idea. <laughs> well, I miss Tommy. I miss Tommy. <laughs> All right, see you guys next time. Ciao. On the next episode of Go Big, we're driving from here just outside of Golden, Colorado, all the way to Moab to the White Room Trail. If you want to class up something immediately, trust me on this. I have focused on safety, security, and functionality. So for some people, that's about half a car payment right there. <laughs> We're here on the White Rim Trail, and I think there is no more beautiful road in the entire world. Yeah, there are like three cars that went off the road here. Wait, what? Nathan, go slow? Hell no. Now this is when you really want a vehicle that's in perfect mechanical condition when you're navigating the side of a cliff. This is functional. Well, welcome to the Escalade at night. That is a metal hinge which pokes you right in the middle of the back. It was extremely cold last night. The food on this trip was spectacular. I forgot we had five big guys. It's 2022, 100 bucks will get you an apple. Ah, this should be on. All right. That's a little bit, but whoa. I do not like shelf roads, even when, well, I mean, 30 feet is a big enough clip to probably kill you. By the way, I wanted to show you. This is after waiting a moment or two or three or six. So, a lot of dust. Very hard to see through.